So here we are sitting in the Civic hatchback, which is the third member of your family now. Civic came out last year, the sedan, then you brought the uh, coupe in, and now this hatch. How is the, the, the sedan been selling? Because it's been bestseller for 18 years in Canada in a row. That's correct. And uh, right now, as it stands of uh, September sales, looking like it's going to be 19th year, and we're hoping to continue the trend all the way to 20th and beyond. So who is your number one competitor for Civic? Who's number two when it comes to passenger cars? For... Uh, in terms of the uh, in its segment, obviously Corolla and mm -hmm. Elantra is sort of our uh, number two and number three, mm -hmm. but we're close to about six or seven thousand pieces away from them. Mm -hmm. And the uh, in, in terms of the overall segment, really, there's really no car that gets close to us in terms of the number one passenger car. Mm -hmm. All right. So now putting your foot mm -hmm. on the throttle and adding this hatch, you're hoping to spread that from 6,000 to maybe 16,000 ahead of everyone? Well, eventually. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, for us to grow, I mean, we're number one right now. It's very difficult to grow after you're number one. Mm -hmm. uh, the only way to do is to start getting, casting the net wider and try to get different customers. And we're hoping that this Civic Hatchback will do that. Okay, the hatchback years ago, I mean, the original Civic in Canada was the hatch in about 76, I believe. And it was always looked at as, you know, practical, inexpensive transportation. And now you brought this Civic hatch back and it's practical, but not so inexpensive. It starts at 21,000. Uh, if you want to get the continuously vari variable transmission with the Honda Sense safety package, it's 23 and it goes all the way to 31. So that's getting into sort of more premium territory. Why did you decide to do that? Well, one of the things that we did was with the sedan models, we already had that entry point. If you recall back way back in the 73, 74, we actually only had the hatchback. Yeah. So now we have the sedan, we have the coupe, and those two alone has an entry point and all the way to a premium point. Mm -hmm. So now the Civic hatchback, yes, the hatchback is back, but we bought it back as something different, something that's sporty and versatile and not the, the kind of the hatchback that you're thinking way back in the 70s. Okay, now I guess somebody that wants, I was just thinking this now, that wants uh, inexpensive practicality can get a, um, a CRV, I mean HRV. Starts at around twenty thousand dollars. You get the hatchback and all of those features for someone that just wants versatility. Yeah, that's correct. So that's the difference between, say, an HRV and this car, for instance. For, with this guy, what you're looking for really is sporty performance and versatility. Versus HRV is all about the versatility. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one of the things with a slightly premium price starting at twenty-one thousand dollars, you put the premium engine in here. This has got the turbo. Where with the sedan, you just have the two-liter, and then you pay extra to get the turbo. So that's a nice feature. It comes with manual. The first time we've had a chance to drive Civic with manual. Now, why did you decide to make manual available in the hatch and not in the sedan? Again, the concept of this vehicle was sporty and versatile and nothing says sporty like manual and this was the perfect car to make the six-speed manual transmission with a turbo engine. Okay, now we're sitting in the LX. I guess uh, to get the first batch out they did the LX version and then we'll get the the Sport and the Sport Touring coming. Uh, now what I find interesting and I don't quite understand is so this car has 174 horsepower and then you get the Sport which gets you to uh, 180 horsepower, that's a 6 horsepower jump, but it requires premium fuel. So back to that Honda Civic philosophy of inexpensive to buy and to run, premium fuel is not that. Yes, yeah, so sometimes Honda will put in a premium gas uh, kind of engine to get that performance out. So again, keep in mind that this Civic hatchback is about sportiness and versatility. And we felt that the higher output engine with the premium gas is what the customer wants because, again, we're trying to achieve that performance uh, and not, ju not just the versatility. Yeah, but we're only getting six horsepower bump and only uh, 10 foot-pounds of, of additional torque. Uh, you're, you're absolutely right. But then again, the uh, not only engine, which has a, a different uh, sort of a curve in terms of a horsepower and torque, as uh, you saw from the exterior, exterior on some of the, uh, the uh, static models, you get a bigger uh, wheel, you get the air kit, and you get different things on that sport model to make, make it that the price difference. Yeah, you can add more content, of course, but uh, the, the suspension remains the same, but you get bigger tires and wheels. Well, there, it's the same suspension, but it is tuned a little bit more sporty. Mm -hmm. So as you saw from the, our performance charts, that the, the, the sport model is going to outperform the LX model in terms of the handling and the performance and the braking and the, and the uh, acceleration. Now, we had a chance to drive today in around Muskoka here in some beautiful twisty roads in the fall, and I gotta say that this car 
really hustles along the road. It's a great handling car. A part of what it's doing is it kind of has a torque vectoring system, right? Yes, it has. It's uh, we we call it agile handling assist, mm -hmm. and that is basically a brake based torque vectoring system. So as the car needs to sort of start doing a turn, it breaks one of the wheels so that you pivot on that wheel. So it and pulls, that's, pulls yeah, you around the that's corner. That's how you go. It's kind of like a, when you go downhill skiing with yeah. a ski stock. Yeah, and, and you know what? It's amazing. It works very well. Now, um, what do you think is uh, the, the Honda Sense safety package? Is that now a major draw to your brand, the fact that you're offering those advanced safety features, forward collision mitigation, lane keep assist, all those sorts of things? Is that a major draw now to Honda? Uh, we believe it is. We've been marketing the Honda um, on the system for a very long time now. Uh, we had it since uh, 2015, and the more and more we're making it uh, standard or optional on all the cars. And our direction right now is to ensure that any customer can get that Honda Sensing package so that you're not really limited by the, your budget. You can get it on a Civic, you can get it on a Accord. We want safety for everyone. Yeah, and you can, like I said, the base model of this car is $21,000. You get the CVT and the Honda Sensing system. It goes from twenty-one dollars to $23,000. Yeah. yeah, so for $1,000, really, you can get a Honda Sensing system on a CVT model. Now, do most people splash the 1000 out and buy it? Uh, right now, again, the uh, it is still fairly new, So, uh, but to not say that they're not buying it. Customers, especially on the upper end, they definitely do appreciate it, and they are stepping up to buy the, the Honda Sensing model. Now back to this premium fuel thing, because I kind of think it's it's a it's a big deal. I really do believe that um, you're now telling people, okay, where I live, it's ten to fifteen cents, more like fifteen cents a liter more to put premium fuel in the car. Um, now, when you have two of your models out of three in this hatchback that require premium fuel, I think that limits your buyer. Well, I don't think so, Zach, because this is why we have this LX model. So there's probably going to be two types of customer for Civic hatchback. One that basically is looking for versatility and a little bit of sportiness, then they'll get the Civic uh, LX and they could still dress it up with accessories and arrow cans and whatnot. So but you can make it look yeah, like the sport. It could look like, like a sport. The sport model is the other way around. Those are customers who are looking for sporty first, then versatility. And to those customers, premium gas model is okay with them because that's what they're looking for. They're looking for performance. They, they understand that costs money. Okay, I have one question about the design of this car. Now, you remember the previous Civic, one of the hallmarks was the mm. perfectly flat floor. That's right. Great to get in and out of. And now these new Civics have this hump that yep, runs down the middle hump. of the car. Mm. So is this going to be an all-wheel drive car in the future? Or is this <laughs> the basis for the next CRV? Well, so the platform uh, has a little bit of a, a tunnel in it. Mm -hmm. uh, simply because if you recall from the sedan uh, launch, we made the sedan fairly low. Uh, low, very low, in fact, uh, that is very more like a sports car than a sedan. And when you do that, all that plumbing underneath has nowhere to go but mm -hmm. up. Yeah. So we had to put a little bit of tunnel in to accommodate that. Yeah, but I think there's room there for a drive shaft too. Uh, we can't talk about the future models. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, uh, well, we can sort of allude to um, CRV. I mean, so Civic's your best seller. Number two is CRV, right? Yes. So there is a new one coming, right? Yes, that is another launch, and we'll talk about that probably later, um, November, December ish. And has it been shown yet? It, we just did a press release on the uh, on CRV, so there, it's already out there. We have photos and in the interior and some of the details that's already out. And we're going to do a press event uh, very soon. So hopefully, Zach, you could experience that then. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it because, um, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's so competitive. Are you thinking now that Honda in your lineup is the best position you've been? Uh, we think uh, this. It, we think so. Uh, we have probably the best lineup in, uh, God, I can't remember how long. We've launched pretty much about eight models in the last uh, two years. And there are more uh, models and more itinerations of the models coming. Uh, so Honda will keep going, offering uh, products that customers want, and we think this is going to be a trend for the next foreseeable future. Yeah, I, I've talked about this many times that, you know, I don't think we're going to get back to the, the era of the 50s and the 60s where car companies bring out a new model every year, but I think we're going to have quite significant changes, like every couple of years, a lot of it centers around in-dash technology yes. and safety features, so, you know, everybody's got their foot on the gas, and, and you have to innovate. You can't wait four years to come up with a new product. You've got to innovate in between. Yes, you're absolutely right. Uh, Honda, uh, Honda includes all the manufacturers were gunning to outdo each other 
And on, honestly, anybody that's staying still won't be a competitor. So we have no choice but to keep going. Can you imagine if you had gone back 25 years ago and told yourself what a Honda Civic would have in it? It would have the ability to stop automatically, steer for itself. It would have a camera that shows you uh, what's in the screen when you mm -hmm. put on the signal. All of the safety features and creature comforts that you get, not so much the hatchback for, for the sand, for roughly the same money. I mean, starting at 16 grand. Yeah, it's unimaginable probably 25 years ago, but that, this is the beauty of technology. You, you just don't know. And uh, right now, the, all the technologies in, in this vehicle was not even available in, in a luxury car back then. Yeah. But if you think about it, 25 years ago, nobody would have thought you had, we would have had a little black box that can uh, call your friends <laughs> and, and surf the internet. And, and do a video call. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the Jetsons. Uh, so with this car, top model being $31,000, I'm guessing, you know, the SI and the Type R are going to be the premium products. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be the uh, lowest end, but then uh, we'll have to wait for that launch uh, to reveal itself. But I think you'll be surprised with the pricing. Oh, okay, that's a little hint. All right, well, it's uh, very exciting. I think that this car is uh, is uh, loads of fun to drive. Like, I mean, every time I drive the Civic, I'm always impressed by the handling and, and the sound insulation you've put in this car now. I mean, Civic was never known for being quiet. Now mm -hmm. it is. And comfortable, super advanced uh, technology. So uh, hats off to you. Looking forward to the CRV, and I think it's going to be a good couple of years for Honda. Yes, we're looking forward to the few years too. All right, thank you. Thanks for watching, and it really does help if you can subscribe to watch a full review of the all-new 2017 Honda Civic Hatchback. Click the picture on the left.